So P Diddy almost had an element of Epstein. That's what, what they're, they're calling yeah. the Epstein of the of the hip hop. So obviously world. you're following the story very yeah, closely. Yeah, I have no idea, but um, yeah. uh, I mean, I mean, here's the thing: in a in a white supremacist country, seriously. <laughs> yeah. For uh, a, an entertainer, uh, African American entertainer like P Diddy. Okay. To even get to live a life like Jeffrey Epstein, it's winning. To me, is a huge win for the culture. I guess. I mean, I'm trying to put a nice, positive spin on mm -hmm. it. You know, this idea that here's uh, a kid who grew up today. Oh underprivileged, my. underprivileged, <laughs> yeah. and now look, he's got a mansion. He's blackmailing people. He's got orgies. He's got the CIA. Everybody's on drugs. I mean, if you know, I mean, so he made money, money. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to another Vidiani. I hope you guys are all doing good. This is gonna be my third and maybe final installment of the P. Diddy saga. I feel like, yeah, it's great. They're fruitcakes and all, but all of this is gonna unravel in front of our eyes. So we we'll have a lot of content for us to dig into into the future. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's uh, Vidiani. Vinny. What's going on with this P Diddy stuff? Maybe give me the P Diddy. Have and you then... heard anything about the, the Diddy thing? Too? I, I I mean, I hear he's being charged with so, for something. So yeah, so, 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 yeah. He's being so there's a new lawsuit <laughs> right now by uh, well Rodney Little Rod Jones, and he's just but, but dude apparently, allegedly uh. in all these court documents, Diddy is like the Epstein of the yeah. rap game. So they're saying yeah. he's had orgies. Damn. He had you know he apparently shot a guy, but you know. Because he had the security guard named Fahim Muhammad, mm. who was Diddy's security guard. You know who else's security guard he was? Michael Jackson's oh. security guard. When he like he was like the second person on the scene uh, when he died. So he's saying it goes back 30 years of actual blackmail. Damn. Usher, Meek Mill, oh. Justin Bieber. Damn. All these people are are Name inside dropping. of it. Justin it, Bieber, he, bro. He's saying. What? But, 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 but I mean, if right? you're gonna take so, advantage of a little so, kid, he's but, the cute. Hold on, hey Rob, can you just show, show the video of? Whoa. Of, Whoa, I did not say that, guys. I did not say that. Did you hear what this fine white gentleman said? If you're going to take advantage of somebody, he's the kid. Oof. I don't know. That's spicy, bro. Of, like, just, <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Not this one, the, 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 the other one with him. This is him hanging out with Diddy. This, it's just weird. Mm. Like, this is him. Look how young. You know, like, as soon as bro. you turn 16. Like, it's just weird. Look at, he's just a little kid. So he's been hanging out with him. You know yeah. I mean? it, How old is Bieber here, you think? 15. 14, so 15, 15, 15. 15. Nah, right, bro. So, so I'm gonna be dropping Bieber this. has to be at least 14 in this clip. I, I did a video about this earlier, and I'm probably going to link it at the end of this video. But uh, yeah, I think it was... Even maybe 13, he was young and Diddy was doing all this weird shit to him. Bro, Diddy, if I'm being honest, Diddy is a horrible person and he should he should be jailed. He should be jailed. Now, then again, we 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 do not know for sure, but <sighs> so that so yeah, he's so they're being accused. So, so there's, yeah. Well, there's, yeah. So what are the accusations? What at, at these house parties that he was having, uh, this is in the uh, in the lawsuit. He had underage girls. Oh my uh, god! Bro. They would spike drinks. Everybody from the butler, the chef, the housekeeper had to walk around him with a pouch fanny pack filled with <laughs> ecstasy gummies. To whoever, if pity, I'm still pity. waiting for the problem. The yeah, but the thing is like this, right? And this is the problem which I have with this. I'm not going to defend Diddy because I think he's a piece of shit. And he's, whatever is coming to Diddy, he deserves it. But one thing which I do have to point out is, bro, when Epstein was doing all of this, no names were revealed. He just died in a jail cell somewhere, right? But Diddy all of a sudden, bro, this shit is so public for Diddy. And names are getting named because it's Diddy, right? And I think there is a little bit, now I don't want to, dig too much into it but i think there's a little bit of a racial element to it because bro epstein did worse things worse i mean it's like similar to to diddy but no names no names bro like the police had all of that but they didn't mention anything they mentioned like a list of a flight log uh 
But then again, it's just a flight log. You could have been traveling to that place for business. So it's not really incriminating certain people. But what I'm seeing on social media right now is, bro, did is getting crucified, except the higher ups. And that's what I find so weird because I'm like, well, a lot of people did a lot of nefarious things, right? But they don't have the same energy for those people. I'm not 100% sure if it has to do with race, but I'm just saying, bro, bro it's a bit weird that if we're going to throw a man under the bus, we're just throwing the black man under the bus. Everybody which was connected to all of this should be at least subpoenaed and questioned and like, I mean, the police have to do some form of investigation when it comes to this. You can see it like Michael Jackson and Diddy's, it's not even the same thing. Like, yes, he had this like, he would invite kids over to Neverland. 100% that's weird. But I'm saying Diddy is 50 times worse and Epstein is 100 times worse. So we have to keep the same energy for these horrible people. <laughs> You're so stupid. But uh, they accuse Combs of, you know, brandishing guns, bragging about shooting people. He hooked yeah. up with, um, what was his name? Clive Davis. And he's saying, because mind you, there's a CIA agent that came out. His name was John Holmson that said he admitted that the CIA uh, created gangster rap to fill private prisons and wow. glamorize criminality. Basically, it's not looking good uh, for, for Diddy. Uh, it's just... All the house parties, all the orgies, and this guy... The, these the, are accusations. These are accusations in the lawsuit, but right. this guy is saying that he would, they would spike all the drinks, that this people would just be getting shit-faced, and sometimes unbeknownst to him, this guy said he woke up from getting drugged at one of these things, and he's like, he's in a bed, <laughs> Diddy's in the bed, some other person's in the bed. It's oh, just not a lot shit. of... What's this, how's Meek yeah. Mill tied to this, by the well, way? Well, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of rumors going out that him and Meek Mill uh, were hooking up, and now Meek Mill is basically going after... What, take, take, by the way, this is all, again, alleged Bruh. in this lawsuit, Bruh. but it's like, it's not stopping for... Bruh, the internet is collapsing on itself. And then uh, the rumor came out with uh, Meek Mill with Diddy, and then what did take... What did take, take? Maybe go on to Twitter. I'm still trying to see, like, what, so, so what is this? So the story is... The only thing I saw, I saw, I saw the fact that pull up the Meek Mill tweet, whatever that is. Uh, uh, and why, you had it on earlier. Rob. Why look at Pat? You know what he's saying? Bro, if he, I'm being honest, they're doing too much. They're doing too much because he, it, this was alleged. <laughs> I know Meek Mill seems like a fruitcake, but I'm saying this is alleged. I'm still, I'm still on Meek's corner, right? I'm still. I'm still going to be Meek Mill's lawyer. I'm still going to defend Meek Mill, but oh my God, Diddy, Diddy were throwing under the bus. It was Diddy had cameras set up all over the house like Epstein, and he was blackmailing everybody that was coming to the house. Damn. So, so Andrew Tate uh, tweets. So P Diddy was having sex with Meek Mill and Usher? <laughs> Question mark. Right? Meek Mill retweets, quote retweet, and says, "Was you trafficking women?" The f wrong with you, you brody and then andrew tate asked i only asked the question because everyone is saying it happened so right? by the way, everybody's talking about it so uh, like that's why they're calling him you know the by the way that tweet today is 41 million views wow it's eight and a half there but it's 41 million. the question is why would you respond like that meek mill mm. yeah. so you responding you're kind of not you're not saying yeah. what are you talking well, about he's but, basically... but but they're saying for 30 years because think about it diddy mm -hmm. yeah bad boy dude diddy went 24 years old uh, they're saying he he helped uh tupac Whoa. biggie dies he is at 24 years old owning bad boy records the clive davis relationship with him they're saying it's very very suspect they gave him all this stuff blackmailing Bruh. all these people for okay all these... are we are we also throwing the tupac murder on diddy now there's no evidence that Diddy killed Tupac. There's no evidence of that. Yes, I had a conversation about this with my cousin in Namibia. And he was like, P. Diddy killed Tupac. I'm like, bro, <laughs> we, we have no evidence of that. Yes, if we had sufficient evidence and somebody actually came out with like, I don't know, maybe like some bank transfers or just anything to link this to Diddy. But I'm saying like, yes, just because... This guy is under a lot of scrutiny right now and we're throwing Diddy under the bus. That's what we're doing. We can't also throw that. 
we like we can't yeah and you killed my brother too like you can't throw that in there just to throw it in there i think this is very dangerous when people start throwing in things like that because everything gets really really muddy yes if we look at it it's justin bieber it's meek mill it's usher it's chris brown uh clyde davis who else Maybe there are some other celebrities which are involved in this as well. I would like to, I would love to find out some more famous names because, bruh, sometimes you watch these people and you think, man, their life is so perfect, so good, right? But honestly, I'd rather be a booty virgin than go through all of this. If I get to be a booty virgin my whole life and be poor, I'd rather... I'd rather be poor because I don't want all of that. I don't want, because I'm watching Will Smith, watching P. Diddy, watching Usher, Meek Mill being a closeted homosexual. Bro, that's too much. It's too much. I just want to come home, have maybe two nice cars, a dog, go to sleep. I don't want to have all of that. Thinking of all of that is too much for me. These years, and now all of it's coming out that he recorded Every room had cameras. This is in the Damn. in the law. So P Diddy almost had an element of Epstein. That's what, what they're, they're calling yeah. the Epstein of the of the hip hop. Tim, so obviously world. you're following the story very yeah, closely. I've, what, what, I have no idea, but um, yeah. uh, I, mean, I mean, here's the thing: in a in a white supremacist country, seriously, yeah, for uh, a, an entertainer, uh, African American entertainer like P Diddy, okay to even get to live a life like Jeffrey Epstein. It's winning. To me is a yeah. huge win for the culture, I guess. I mean, I'm trying to put a nice positive spin on mm -hmm. it. You know, this idea that here's uh, a kid who grew up oh underprivileged, my. underprivileged. <laughs> yeah. And now look, he's got a mansion, he's blackmailing people, he's got orgies, <laughs> he's got the CIA, everybody's on drugs. I mean, if, you know, I mean. He made something I, No, truly, to be honest, I, yeah. I, I, this is an area yeah, I'm behind. True. I don't know anything well, about it. I true. just, I'm a little offended, Vinny, because Why? I'm going to go on the record here and Diddy, say. People have always said yeah. stuff about Diddy for a while. A while. Yeah, you're and joker, people you know. say stuff about Diddy for a while, and uh, I, I didn't hear, I don't know. I mean, there's probably something going on. Yeah. Well, I don't. I, you know what I mean. I don't want to slander people, but something seems. I mean, he's been accused now of five times in the, the yeah, past multiple, six months. But, but by the way, anybody. but by the way, this is nothing new. Yeah. You know, nothing Not at all. Even when I had Greg Kading on, when I was trying to find out who killed Tupac, right? Yeah. Greg Kading was the the investigator, okay. the detective that was going and trying to figure it out, and we put all the names and we put this whole like American gangster with all the yeah. different pictures, and he had to pick and choose. Everything kind of led back to Diddy. Okay. That's what they're saying. The, the death of okay. Okay. There's the evidence. Apparently, they were sitting and putting pictures on a wall, and then they connected those pictures to P. Diddy. So that is the evidence. That's why we're going to lock up a man. But that, I, still, still too thin. Of Biggie and the death of Tupac 100%. led back to Diddy, the Biggie renewing the contract, owning all the label, everything, and then Damn. Tupac and who was behind it. Guys, next thing you're going to tell me is that OJ probably killed two people. I don't know where you guys are going with this right I now. I hate to be the I'm one just saying, you know. Vinny, yeah. you know, give me a chance here, Vinny. Yeah, my bad. I'm just saying, I don't know. You've, you've been in Florida how long now? Two years. <laughs> as a man. Okay, I've been here. 43 years okay has did he um, has did he launched any kind of like counterattack as he's uh, he's, he's counter suing let's PR let's see how the justice people. system prevails but listen what as somebody that gets invited he's settled within yes. 24 hours yeah, yeah. So what do you mean with his ex Cat, um yeah. Cassie, 30 million bucks but as someone that gets invited sometimes to these types of parties on star island and hibiscus island and palm island and the venetian islands in miami i you know see something say hey you forgot fruitcake island Say something. Mind your own business. I don't want to get blacklisted from these parties, Vinny. My bad. So I'll anything that you're saying this is, does not stand for what I'm no, saying. I understand that. You're talking about chicks, hot chicks, fanny packs, drugs, partying. I'm just saying. I'm not saying I'm going. Yeah. I'm just saying I don't want to get blacklisted from I that party. Well, well, so let's just see what I, happens. I'm reporting what There's the lawsuit said. Like during problem. Art Basel, Diddy, just keep my invitation coming. Like, like, what is it with the, you know, is it to defend yourself? Like, listen. Listen, okay, I know that you guys are talking about some weird shit, but I want to be a part of that weird shit, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm maybe implicated in this weird shit. So I'm just saying, let's, let's wait. Let's wait and see. 
if my name comes out. Because if my name comes out, then I'm screwed. I'm I'm at these parties as well. Kevin Hart. I'm Kevin Hart. Bro, Kevin Hart is being quiet. We haven't heard from Kevin Hart in a while. The most funniest guy in the world. The most funniest guy, bro. He should have a crazy bit for this. Because he was there, he was watching, he was, oh, did he? Ah, nah, nah. He was doing all of that, all that wild shit. Kevin Hart was there. Imagine, Kevin is so quiet. Every, like, bruh, most of the people which were at these parties, the Chris Browns, the Ushers, the, and imagine there's so many people at these parties. So many, like four or five hundred, even uh, Jamie Foxx was there and he had a mysterious illness. We don't know what this illness is, just mysterious. And then he recovered from this mysterious illness. There are a lot of people which are implicated in this investigation. And I think if they just start to mention names, just start to mention names, you don't have to even take them to court. Just start to mention names or names start to come out or women like... Right now, like, if you're a girl and you're at these parties and you know these secrets, maybe it's time to come out with it. Maybe it's time. Don't wait 20, like, come come with it right now because I think this is going to be bigger than the Amber Heard, Will Smith. Like, this story this year is going to be huge. If they can just, bro, if they can get, like, cameras in the court case, this this is going to break the internet. But I think, if I'm being honest, Diddy should get ahead of this story. Sit down on Shannon Sharp's couch and just talk about it. Just like, listen, I'm bringing the whole shit down. Just like, this is what I'm doing. Like, this is what happened. This guy was there. That guy was there. Just come out with it. Because at least then we get to find out who was there. Who are the homosexuals? Or... Not homosexuals, the fruitcakes. Well, this, I'm not going to bring, I would bring, gladly bring Vinny as my plus one. I would one. never want to go to Diddy. And I'll say that to the... I'm Gucci. I'm I, don't, I, don't, I'm I will from... tell you this. I don't know how much I care about this. The other day, I'm uh, uh, laying in bed, and I'm listening to R. Kelly. Okay? No joke. And nothing's going on. I'm just listening to R. Kelly. I'm like, babe, do you realize how many hits oh, yeah. R. Kelly has? Play? What, are you kidding me? I mean, you just kind of go through all of me like... Yeah, so many. So many, right? And I go on Twitter and I say, let me see what people are saying about R. Kelly today. So I type in R. Kelly. And one guy says, I can't believe what R. Kelly did to me. Every what? time I listen to one of his songs, all I realize is he probably wrote that for an underage girl. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Now that ruins it song. for you. Now that ruins it for you. Yeah. Mom, guys, I'm tell me no. Know. Yeah. I don't know. True. Now you're going to, next thing you know, right. you're going to tell me that. Michael Jackson maybe diddled some kids, and when he wrote the song uh, Beat It know. or Thriller, all, all that there I'm was something on it. bro. I'm not. Yeah, he's right. I'm I don't with stand you for this. this. So if you like this clip and you yeah, want Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can find the other one. You just got the Jeffrey Epstein of the music and entertainment industry. The new lawsuit that just dropped against Diddy is massive, mm. and it has photos, it has videos, it names names, <sighs> and there's so much here that it's never gonna fit into a single video. So I'm gonna do a quick overview in this video, mm. and then I'm gonna do a couple of parts breaking down all the different aspects of what's come out so far. We're talking crime scenes, yeah. we're talking photo evidence of celebrities like Cuba Gooding Jr. We're talking record label executives. We're talking <sighs> hidden cameras in every room of the house getting recordings of celebrities, executives, politicians, at parties with celebrities and underage girls, oh with my. drinks being spiked, with drugs. This Got goes it. all the way back to the murder of Tupac and Biggie. We're talking about the entire rap and hip hop industry and the whole music industry at large. But to be clear, this is just opinions and speculation. These yeah. are not statements of fact. When I show sources in the background, like the court case, you should take those for just what they are. I'm not saying that all of this is necessarily real. So what's happened just now is that this man, Rodney Jones, who is a music producer that worked with Sean Combs, who is Diddy, he just filed this lawsuit. And he didn't just file it against Diddy, he filed against the executives at all of the companies associated and against the companies like Universal Music Group. Okay. His lawyers claim that he has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Diddy and his staff and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity. 
it's illegal for lawyers to make these claims if they don't have reasonable belief that this evidence is legitimate and exists. They mm. could get disbarred for making these claims if they're not true. And some of that evidence is present in this lawsuit, like oh when God. Diddy allegedly shot a man. And then the LAPD saw that room in the photo, the bathroom with all that blood, and were on the scene for hours and no arrests were made. They went with the explanation mm. that Diddy told his staff to give, which was it was a drive-by shooting. Diddy made it clear that his head of security, Fahim Muhammad, had the power to make people and problems disappear. This guy. And all of Diddy's staff were instructed to contact Mr. Muhammad if they were ever pulled over by the police in Miami or California. Diddy often bragged about having law enforcement under control. Although the deeper you look, the more it looks like people above him and above law enforcement had him under control. Damn. We'll go more into these cases in the detailed videos, but now the bigger picture. See, Diddy has been one of the most powerful people in the rap industry ever since the 90s when he founded Bad Boy Record. And he was only 24 when he founded it. He started his career as a non-paid intern at a and until he was then fired. Yeah, but this is what I've always found very weird with Diddy's story. Where did he get the money from? Yeah, I get it. Like you, you start your own record label, but this record label became one of the biggest record labels in America. Like, where do you get the money in? Maybe he was a street thug. Maybe he was doing what, but Diddy doesn't seem like a guy which would be heavy in the streets like that. I think, or he seems like a guy with a very clean image. Heard in 1993 when he was 24 and founded his own label, Bad Boy Records, later that year. So how does a 24-year-old mm, found 24. a massive Imagine. record label on his own? Well, when you dig further, you realize it wasn't on his own. It was with the help of Clive Davis, his mentor. And the further into it all you dig, you realize that Clive Davis came out as gay later on. And there's a lot of rumors that him and Diddy were in a relationship throughout this time. Clive Davis has been running significant portions of the music industry since our parents were kids listening to music. Responsible for artists like Aretha Franklin, Alicia Keys, The Grateful Dead, then later Usher, Outkast, Pink. But back in the 60s and 70s, like Janis Joplin, Santana, Aerosmith, Pink Floyd, like, come on, read it. Jones specifically claims that they were trying to groom him to do gay stuff, which has long been the talk of the town in the rap industry by people that aren't with it. Diddy allegedly showed him a tape from a secret recording that he just happened to have of, of Jones's idol having gay sex with some white guy. And then Diddy apparently told Jones that he had engaged in gay sex with this redacted rapper and that redacted rapper and his idol, Stevie J. And apparently he also promised to make sure that Jones would win producer of the year at the Grammys if he did gay stuff on camera. Although, to be clear, he wasn't explicitly saying on camera, but Mr. Jones discovered that Diddy had hidden cameras in every room of his home. I'm gonna guess that Diddy didn't learn how to wire a whole house with cameras on his own. Kanye has accused Diddy of being a fed yeah. many times. Diddy's also been accused of ordering the hit on Tupac many times. And when Diddy was asked about this on a podcast, this was his response. So we, don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even gonna even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. When you start digging into allegations of the CIA, the FBI, the Mossad having t tentacles in the music industry, you wind up at total rumors like this. Former CIA agent admits agency created gangster rap to fill private prisons by glamorizing criminality. Claims like famous hip hop lyrics of the legendary hip hop outfit NWA were even scripted by a team of psychologists and war propagandists inside the CIA, according to this former agent. Obviously, these are just totally rumors and conspiracy mm. theories, no truth to this yeah. whatsoever. But it yeah. leads you to people like Lior Cohen, who might be the most influential person in the last hundred years of music, mm. because he ran Def Jam and made Jay-Z who he is, including Med Red Man, Method Man, DMX, Ja Rule, Ludacris. Mm. But it doesn't stop with rap music. We got Bon Jovi, Mariah Carey, Shania Twain, Elvis Costello, Ashanti, Nickelback. Lior Cohen had problems with Lupe Fiasco, and other rappers, uh, I say that to say that he's the person which is running, I think, YouTube music right now. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm not attacking anybody. I'm just saying like, you know, everything is getting controlled.
just know that before you want to start this whole YouTube journey or whatever, yeah, I want to become a YouTuber, just be aware that there are powers, there are gatekeepers already up there right now, which are fiddling with the algorithm. One, the killer, Slayer. But then we've also got his protege, Julie Greenwald, that got elevated through this merger that he brokered and managed the Black Keys, Bruno Mars, Death Cab for Cutie, Black Jason Keys. Rantz, Kid Rock, Lupe Fiasco, Wiz Khalifa. That would be this Julie Greenwald. And then we've got Lucian Grange, the CEO of Universal Music Group. He's the one that is directly implicated and named in this lawsuit. He's with underage girls and with sex workers, and he knew that they were spiking drinks, et cetera, et cetera. But when you're talking about Diddy, you gotta also talk about Justin Bieber, um, mm. who was managed by Scooter Braun, along with Kanye West, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato. And, and this is what's so sad about the whole Justin Bieber story. It's, you can see it on Justin Bieber, like something happened to him, allegedly. When you look at Justin Bieber right now, you can see like he's not himself. He's not. He's. I've seen women sexually assaulting the guy right in front of all our eyes. They're posting that where a woman comes, she kisses Justin Bieber. She's like groping him, doing all of that. And Justin Bieber says on live television, like, I felt just I felt so assaulted right now. And people are just laughing about it. <laughs> oh my God, a, a grown woman, 40 years old. I think she's what, a comedian. Try to kiss Justin Bieber, groping him and doing it. Imagine if that was, imagine if the roles were reversed. And that was maybe what, Will Smith? Going, like, trying to kiss a young girl, like, oh, try, and then la like we're all laughing about, like, ah, oh, ha, ha, bro, that... And that video exists today. And like, no one is even saying like, bruh, like, that's not right. Um, Scooter Braun is a really big player in the modern music industry. Scooter we also got Psy, Carly Rae Morris, uh, Martin Garrix, Kanye West, Black Eyed Peas, David Guetta, Lil Dicky. So you might not remember, but back in the 90s, um, Tupac and Biggie were both coming up mm. and they were both talking about leaving their records True. that we've shown the people involved in those records already and starting their own. And Tupac was starting to speak out a little bit maybe about the state, the nature of the industry. Diddy was close in the middle of that. And there's a lot of rumors that he ordered the hit on Tupac. Diddy sort of rose to power on the power vacuum of Tupac yeah. and Biggie both l leaving the scene. And he has been manipulating and running a huge portion of the industry from the inside ever since. And this court case directly alleges with lots of evidence that he has been running a sexual blackmail scheme that entire time. Promoting artists that would engage in the sexual blackmail scheme and then do their bidding there because there's not just him acting alone. And pushing out, ostracizing, blacklisting, attacking artists that wouldn't. So, uh... Maybe you should go back and listen to some of Kanye's interviews and see if he sounds quite so crazy after all. Kanye is ahead of his time, and I've said it so many times, but I, I feel like he is, he's like one of those creative geniuses which you just leave alone, but he understands things on a totally different level. But this video isn't about Kanye. Let's go back. Sometimes you get a certain feeling about certain people. And that is the feeling that I've always had about P. Diddy. I've never, ever been like a fan of that guy. I've always like looked at him and just like, bro, something wrong with this guy. I don't know what it is, but just like there's certain artists which you just, you just don't like them. Like their, their spirit is just exuding something which is negative. And you're just like, bro, I get a bad feeling. It's like you can't, you can't put words to it. Just just like Kim Kardashian. Bro, Balenciaga did all of that. All of that with the kids and all of that. But now she's the spokesman for, or it's the spokeswoman for Balenciaga or the spokesmodel or whatever, or the ambassador. Who does that? Like if I had kids and I found out like this company's fiddling kids, Bro, I would let that, like, I'm not even, I'm not, I just have to wash my tongue.
ties away from that because it doesn't align with me and or my philosophy. But anyway, that's where we're going to end this video. Like, comment, and share all allegedly. These are just theories on the internet because, you know, I'm a comedian and that's what I do. We make jokes and blah, 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 fruitcake. People are super angry at me for that. Oh, 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 oh,